Oh, hi. I'm Jonathan White. I teach English here at Coastal Christian Preparatory School, and I just wanted to... A silly idea for a video. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a good slide. Hi, I'm Jonathan, and I want to tell you about some of the changes... Wait, wait, English. wait. Hold. They're not going to take you seriously like this, man. What? What are you talking about? It's a slide, it's playground, it's fun, it's engaging. I, I, it's, it's the tie, it's the tie in the slide, it's just, it's not working. You know what, everybody has an opinion, that's fine. Hi, I'm Jonathan White, and I teach English here at Coastal Christian Preparatory School, and I'm very excited to be able to share with you some changes to the English department that are going to take place for the 2017-2018 school year. I say changes, but I really mean improvements because as an English department, we have thought through the way that we have been doing things and made some significant changes for the better. So some of those changes include a restructured honors and college preparatory track system that includes blended classrooms, and I'll tell you more about that momentarily. Another revision, change, improvement is a revised summer reading selection and assessment. Uh, in addition to that, we have simplified our English curriculum. Uh, we've gone down to one textbook for high school English classes. And we have a new writer's workshop that every student in ninth through 12th grade will participate in for the first four weeks of quarter one of a new school year. And we're very excited about that. And lastly, we have a dual credit option for seniors in our English program. So many exciting things on the way, and I'll tell you more about this. And scene. Whew, that was good. I feel like I was on. That was, I feel like that was great. Um, you want to run it again just to see if we can, you what? We're, oh, we're still, we're, we're rolling. We're just going to do just one cut, one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> for the honors, and college preparatory track, um, we have blended those classrooms. All students in uh, 9th through 12th grade, honors and college preparatory classes will meet in the same classroom. Um, all students will receive high quality instruction and opportunities for remediation and enrichment as necessary. And students intending to receive honors credit will do so by accomplishing a few uh, extra activities throughout the course of the year. One is that an honors student will complete an extra reading assignment over the summer as well as the assessments that go along with that. Uh, and a student seeking honors credit will also complete one independent reading project per semester. That's in addition to the normal class load. Uh, and that's going to include a formal essay in MLA format. And each student seeking to receive honors credit will also need to successfully participate in a Socratic seminar once each semester. And that's a student-led, inquiry-based, high-level discussion concerning the independent reading for that semester. Uh, that's a great, great opportunity for students who desire to excel um, to take advantage of those opportunities. As far as summer reading goes, in grades 9 through 12, all students will have two required reading novels over the summer. And as a department, we feel like we've struck a good balance between novels that manifest the characteristics of literary masterworks, as well as ones that are just fun to read. Uh, and I hope that our students will see some of those on the list and be able to enjoy them thoroughly. Um, summer reading assessments are as follows. Each student in grades 9 through 12 will need to purchase the primary summer reading novel and annotate it. And this is all marked in the documents that you can have access to through uh, RenWeb and the parent portal. Uh, each student will complete a major works data sheet in Google Drive for all summer reading novels and then students in the honors track will need to purchase and annotate a secondary novel as well that will be denoted in our documentation on RenWeb. The primary summer reading novel will be featured prominently in the new writers workshop at the beginning of each quarter. Uh, and we're, again, very excited about the opportunity to help our students write professionally uh, with excellence. So those are some of the improvements 
for our honors and college preparatory track system, as well as summer reading. As far as the English curriculum goes, for grades 9 through 12, we're just narrowing down. We have in the past kind of piecemealed together our lesson planning from a vocabulary curriculum called Worldly Wise, a grammar curriculum um, from BJU Press, which is a great curriculum, um, as well as our Prentice Hall literature books. But as we reviewed this uh, and reflected over the course of this year, our Prentice Hall textbooks are set up to help us teach literature and writing and grammar and vocabulary. It's, it's a self-contained curriculum. And so we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to minimize the number of books that students in English have to purchase or rent and then bring to class every day. We're just simplifying by moving our focus to that one to the writer's workshop at the beginning of the school year, that first quarter, the first four weeks. Um, <laughs> we are thrilled to be able to offer uh, this module to our students. Um, they will continue to develop skills of solid organization and clear expression as a part of this module. Um, students will be expected to sign up for a professional sounding Gmail account. We don't want an email address for a student, butterflies595 at gmail.com. It's going to need to be something professional, something that they can take with them into the future. They can just have an email address that is uh, maybe uh, first name and last name, maybe first initial and last name at gmail.com. And much of our correspondence with students and much of the work that they turn in over the course of the year will be shared via Google Drive. Um, we really want to help our students understand the benefit of writing professionally, even in an electronic mail arena. Um, so we want to make sure that they know how to properly email professors <laughs> and uh, deal with people in the workplace via email. That's a huge uh, emphasis for us in this writer's workshop, as well as just traditional essay writing in MLA format, um, skills of organization and analysis. So we're excited about that writer's workshop. We are also offering this year, through Trident Technical College, a dual credit option for seniors. Uh, Mrs. Vale can tell you more about this if you're, if you're interested. We are confident that this new streamlined approach to ELA instruction, with its focus on practical writing skills, professionalism in digital media, and rigorous analytical skills, will prepare our students for success in college and beyond. And that's what we're here for. Thanks for watching.